right, so by now you guys, if you've seen the other serrated knife videos, you know the drill. Uh, we're going to check three spots on this Cutco knife, sharpen it, and then compare it after sharpening and see how it does. And I marked it with blue spots so that we're hitting the same serration. Four eighty three on the first one. Two forty nine on the second. And four twenty one on the third. Okay, so on Cutco knives, uh, they basically have a patented design, and it's kind of a little rectangle. Uh, but the nice thing is that the back side is flat. So it's got one flat side and then it's just got these kind of squared off, uh, it's got these kind of squared off teeth, but your backside's flat, no different than any other serrated knife. And I find these sharpen uh, just as well and let's uh, get it done so I can show you. Same process as always, this is a brand new uh, 600 belt that I just uh, split the other day with that new belt splitter that you guys saw. And I just do the same process that I always do on regular serrations on these Cutco Double Ds. Pretty popular knife. Sold it a lot of school things. And also uh, I know they Costco has them in for like road shows. For years I used to not see these because everybody sent them in because they used to sharpen them for free but then shipping got expensive and when I really first started seeing these was during the pandemic because Cutco's time to get them back to their customers was really a long period of time. I think at one point it was six weeks or so, someone told me. And nobody wanted to wait that long to get their knives back. And that was the first time I started seeing the Cutco knives come into my shop. All right. And then just like regular serrated, usually the ferry tip is uh, sharpened in the other direction like a regular knife. All right, and then I do my, my normal process. I just keep going. So you guys know my normal process to knock that burr that we just raised uh, back to the other side. And I use a wire wheel on a Dremel for that. Oh, make sure I'm on the right side. Doesn't take much on these, typically one pass. And now I'm gonna hone on my leather wheel. As I've shown in the other videos, I look for that burr to be pulled out, start stretching and then flaking off. And you can do this on, you know, if you only have one by 30 and a leather strop, that'll work too. In fact, you can get on the edge if you need to do the uh, edge to get in there. Whatever works to get in there, to start pulling that burr off. Yeah, this feels 100% better. These, these teeth had no grab at all. And now they have grab. And to me, it looked like that burr came off very easily. All right, so let's uh, retest and see how we did. All right, we'll start with the last scalp and work towards the tip. Three twenty-seven. I know we were in the 400s, so that's an improvement. 223. 237. So pretty good scores all around, and I think we had a nice improvement on each one. Okay, so that was just a single one belt process. 
So now let's see what happens. How much can we improve one of these or uh, cut co double D's if we add in an A16 belt to the mix. So let's do a pass now at A16 and see if we can get this even lower. And a nice finishing touch is just hitting it on the one micron dental abrasive. Makes it look like it's brand new again. Feels really good again. Let's see what a two belt process, which you can see I'm only up to two minutes right now. So it wouldn't take that much longer at all to do a two belts. And we could have combined it with uh, just stropping one time. 2.30 on the last one 190 289 so let's talk uh, final results the very uh, last part the end part of the knife that we tested we started at 421 we ended up at 230. Excellent improvement. Uh, the middle of the knife, we started at 249, and we got that all the way down to 190. Also an excellent improvement. And on the front here, we went from 483 to 289. Also a very good improvement. Not quite as great as the back two here. We could probably work on the front if we wanted to, but it, the knife is cutting really well. It feels good. The teeth have come back to it. It had no grabbiness at first. And you can see it, it is cutting just beautifully. So there we go. Uh, you can do a great job improving Cutco knives. I'm just going to clean off the uh, Sharpie that I put on here and get this ready to go back to its customer. Have a great day, everybody.